We had gone for dinner. When we came out of the restaurant, Buzz got behind the wheel to drive home. I was sitting in the back seat of the vehicle and my grandson was in the passenger's seat. I don't think we were in the car more than five minutes and that was when he had the serious stroke. Buzz accelerated to the floor. We forced his foot off of the accelerator and my grandson used his hand to break the car. It was frightening. I, I must admit it was very frightening. Individuals with atrial fibrillation, which is one of the most common abnormal heart rhythms, are at an increased risk of developing a stroke. Over 90% of those strokes in people with non-valvular atrial fibrillation originate from a small outpocketing of tissue called the left atrial appendage. After I uh, had my stroke, I had to be put on Coumadin. I had to be careful of what I ate and careful of falling or cutting myself. The challenges relate to frequent blood draws, um, taking a medicine on a regular basis. He had a brain bleed while he was on Coumadin. For a long, long time, I did not leave him alone at all, even to go to the grocery store. I didn't want to have another stroke. Watchman is a novel therapy to help patients with atrial fibrillation. Long term will allow individuals to be off warfarin, the most commonly used anticoagulant to prevent clots, and maintain a low risk of having a stroke. What happens is the device is passed into the heart and deployed in the left atrial appendage, basically putting a plug in the appendage such that a clot can't form. I was happy to hear that there was something out there that could prevent more strokes. The patients are asleep. They are under anesthesia. Just like what we do in cardiac catheterization, we start from the right femoral vein. We would pass a catheter up to the right side of the heart in the right top chamber called the right atrium. And then from there, we make a transeptal puncture, basically a needle that makes a small hole. Then we have access to that outpocketing or that uh, room in there. And then we deploy this device that basically plugs that little room. After about six weeks or so, the body forms a little layer of tissue over that device and basically seals that room off, so therefore, uh, decreases the chances of blood pulling and creating a clot. This is much faster than open heart surgery or even giving birth to a baby. The next day after the surgery, I was discharged from the hospital and was feeling great ever since. Clinical trials have shown that it is equivalent to warfarin and significantly decreases the risk of hemorrhagic strokes and strokes causing major disability. Well, it was very much a relief not having to take the Coumadin and get stuck in the arm every week and wonder if it, the numbers were too high or too low. Going to go hunting more and maybe fishing in spring. I love being outside. And I've been mowing grass and little things around the house, helping with the cleaning. <laughs> the doctors were terrific. They did so much for him at Lehigh Valley Hospital. I, I just would not go anywhere else. We like to spend time with our grandchildren and our children. It's good to be more normal, just enjoying ourselves. We have a lot fewer worries now. <laughs>